Greetings, my name is Patrick Fenka with the Asset Protection Center. I am an estate planning attorney focused in the field of asset protection and elder law out in the state of California and Florida. Today let's talk about the importance of uh, pre-planning for Medi-Cal. Now, first of all, Medi-Cal is a public health insurance program that can become available to you in the event that you or a loved one would need a nursing home down the line. Why is it so important to prepare ahead of time as opposed to when you or that spouse is actually in need? This is what's called in the industry pre-planning I'm sorry, versus crisis planning. Pre-planning is basically when an individual is financially eligible for Medi-Cal, but we are waiting for the day that that person becomes physically eligible or in need of nursing home. Crisis planning, on the other hand, is when that person is in physical need of the nursing home, but their financial affairs are not quite up to par in order to help them qualify for Medi-Cal. A lot of people make the assumption that because they have too much assets, be it in the 200000 to a $1 million range, that they automatically would not qualify for Medi-Cal, and that is not accurate. Now, let's look at a few terms of art that you will be dealing with when entering this universe. The first one is what is called the look-back period. This is the period of time when the Medi-Cal office will basically well, look back, for no pun intended, and determine whether they will penalize you at all for making any transfers or movements in your financial statements in order to qualify yourself for Medi-Cal. They can either choose to penalize you or not qualify you at all. So it's very important that you deal with the competent counsel that, spec that deals in elder law in order to make that determination. Then there is what is called the Community Spouse Resources Allowance. So from the terminology Community Spouse, you, this applies to married couples. And this is the dollar value that the well individual, meaning the spouse that does not need to enter the nursing home, is allowed to keep and not be penalized in order, in order for their spouse to enter that nursing home. It, that dollar amount changes every year. As of the recording of this video, it is at 113,640. And for individuals, it, first of all, the term is individual resources allowance. It is at a mere $2,000. So it does not give you much room to work with. And finally, there is what is called the triple MNA, or the minimum monthly maintenance needs allowance. Now, this is the dollar value that you're allowed to receive on a monthly basis, and that specific amount will not be used against you in determining your medical eligibility. <clears throat> As of the recording of this video, it is at 2,841 for married couples and a mere $35 for individuals. So hopefully you have found this video informative. If you would like to find out more, please uh, visit us at www.assetprotectioncenter.com and go ahead and ask for the free report about Medi-Cal and we'll be happy to send it out to you. If you have a pressing matter, feel free to call me at 714-966-2646 and I'll be happy to discuss your situation. Thank you and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.